All right, guys. The people I bought my house from was in their early 90s. And unfortunately, are no longer with us. They both passed. He fought World War II. And he had a lot of interesting things from World War I and World War II. And he had told me that there was a few things that he had misplaced in the house. And if I found them, he would pay the shipping to get them back. Well, we were in the attic cleaning it out because they left a ton of stuff. And I found a bag. And in that bag was a few knives. And I'll post videos of those knives as well. And then this pistol and the items he was looking for. So I called him, let him know I found it and told him what all was in the bag. And he told me if I would, uh, I could have everything else if I'd ship the other two items that he wanted. And that, bo that bothered me a bit because he had three sons and none of them wanted any of his mementos. So this gun here was in such great condition as you see. It needs a good cleaning, that's for sure. But uh, I didn't think it was an authentic pistol. I thought it was something he picked up somewhere. But out of curiosity one day I went a couple of counties over to a gun dealer. And I asked him, you know, just tell me the basics. What is this? Where was it made? And could he give me an a, era of time? He advised that it was made in Belgium between the 17 and 1800s and uh, it has a hand carved walnut handle and when you feel it you can actually feel it's not machined it's not it's it really it's really nicely made but you can feel that it's not it wasn't machined at least to me it feels that way it has two hammers uh, and then it has two triggers well, I guess these are hammers you pull them back, there's a little hole there. You, I guess you put a flint or something in. Uh, the, the odd thing is, is that when I was looking at this gun in detail, I didn't really realize until after the fact that powder was in the, both barrels and you could see wadding in front of the powder. And uh, unfortunately, I poured that out without thinking. But, you know, I just wanted to be safe. Now, the gun dealer was telling me a little bit about it, and uh, I was you know, just taking in everything he was saying and also wondering if he's going to try to make an offer on this gun. And I told him I didn't want to sell it. I really wasn't worried about the value because it was given to me as a gift, and I was going to keep it. Well, he uh, told me on my way out the door that if I was, uh, if he had the gun, he would sell it for $800. Now, mind you, this was about eight years ago. And, you know, usually if you want to sell something, you want, you know, you want to make double what you paid for it if you can. So he offered me, I think he was offering me $800. I turned it down. Because one, I've, I've never seen this gun before. After he told me it was made in Belgium, I did get online and look around and I, I, there was, tons of the guns none like this I think this might have been just a basic model but uh, the handle was very similar as was the hammers and the, the triggers they had a lot of interesting guns one of my favorites I had was called the duck foot I think is what it was because it had five I think it was five barrels spread out like a duck foot but I never found one exactly like this a lot of them were ornate this is just basic. It has both barrels or octagon in shape and the only markings on them, I'm gonna call them the number 11. So let me flip the gun over. All right, you see 11, 11, and 11. I'm assuming those are 11s. They might be Roman numeral twos, but again, I'm not sure. All right, there's your shot of the octagon barrels. All right, here's the other side of the gun. The stock is, you know, no scratches, no scrapes, no scarring. Uh, the barrel, is, uh, I need to clean it up. Uh, it's been sitting in a cabinet for years, and unfortunately I just haven't cleaned it in years. Uh, I guess I'll do that after this video. But if you know anything about this, 
please, please let me know anything you can. As I said, I'm being told it was Belgium, 17, 1800s, and after I got that information, I did see this style of pistol in that range. Now, I can't put an exact year on it, but that's what I've been told. I may one day go to another gun show or to a gun show. I've never been to a gun show and carry this with me to see if I can learn anything else about it. But if any one of you guys out there that really know something about this can tell me something, I'd greatly appreciate it. Again, I am not a gun expert. I'm telling you what I was told. And I'm also telling you what I found on the internet. And between what I found on the internet and what that gun dealer told me, they're, they're close. The details are close. So that's it with this Belgian pistol. Thanks for you and you guys have a great day.